YouTube community what's up it's your boy X here again and I'm back and I've promised you that I'm gonna show you how you can run your 3DR solo and control it using your remote control and an old tablet yes now you need three things to get this done the first thing is you're gonna need a late model Android smartphone like a Samsung Galaxy Note 5 that's what I have like the Samsung Galaxy S6 uh, the S6 Edge the 7 7 Edge probably the Google Pixel those kind of phones that are running the new versions of Android and those are the ideal smartphones that you want to have because those phones have access to all the new apps on the App Store all right so you definitely want to have that that's number one number two you'll definitely need some kind of cloud storage I am using Google Drive because I'm familiar with that I guess the Microsoft OneDrive can do the job too um, you can transfer files via email but I think the Solex application can't be transferred via email because it's too large the solo app probably can but not the Solex so I would advise you to use some cloud storage to transfer the information from your phone to your tablet or if you want to use a SD card a little SD uh, memory card you can use that too last but not least this old tablet I'll tell you a little bit about my tablet this thing is running lollipop Android 5.0 I know this will work with lollipop Android 5.0 let me give you some more specs about this Asus tablet right here so you know what you're working with now before I show you my tablet specs this is the problem that I'm addressing right now this guy your device isn't compatible with this version this is the problem that I'm trying to address right now great guys now that you've seen what the problem is let's let me show you a little bit about the tablet that I'm gonna be running uh, my 3DR solo app or my Solex app from it's an Asus it's a K01A. I bought it a few years ago, so it's a pretty old tablet. It comes with version 4.42. However, I did upgrade it to Android 5.0, which is Lollipop. Again, this is this method is not going to work with Jelly Bean, so don't even try it with 4.42. It's not going to work. This tablet upgrades to 5.0, which is Lollipop. So rest assured, you can go ahead and do it. It has four cores, which is pretty good. I like that the display is uh, 1024 by 600 dpi which is not too good it's not a very bright laptop ta um, tablet and that's what I really don't like about it it's not very bright at all so I do you know there's a downside to everything it runs pretty smooth uh, I tried to take some footage uh, when I was out trying it for the first time I don't know if you can see that I'm trying to catch the sunset I think I'll have to turn this way to catch that sun oh there we go but the sun was in the the camera and you couldn't see nothing but glare on the screen but from a perspective of me running it runs pretty smooth I'm happy with it um, when I'm turning sometimes I'm turning the yaw for the for for the 3dr it pixelates a little bit but it's not anything that I can't live with it's a pretty large seven inch screen so I'll deal with some pixelations at some point as long as it moves when I move that's the most important thing to me no freezing I don't mind some broken pixels along the way one once in a while now it's only only got eight gigs of uh, gigabytes of, of of storage which is not much eight gigabytes and it only has one gig of RAM which is not much either uh, what I do like about it is that it has GPS for a hundred dollar laptop because I paid $99.99 for it at Best Buy years ago and to get a tablet like that with GPS and with Wi-Fi don't know how good this Wi-Fi is but it's good enough to fly with at least for me so you've seen the stats of the tablet that I'm working with so that way at least you know uh, what you have if it's similar to the specs I have then more than likely it's gonna work and it's gonna give you a good video feed you want something reliable when you're flying you want when you turn you must see it turn on the screen I get it it's important to me and these are the specs that I have and if you have similar or equivalent specs 
you should be able to get the same results you should always try it out first don't fly solo too far and make sure that it works for you okay uh, let me turn the tablet on this is pretty much what my tablet looks like I did format the tablet because it's not a high power tablet so I kind of want to use it just for the purpose of flying my solo and so so yeah so it has Google Drive I made sure I had that great one thing that I do want to tell you you must do for this to work is go to your settings go to security security is right over here go to security go to unknown sources and make sure that it's on that's a must unknown sources must be on great hit that home button and now we're gonna switch to the phone so I can show you how this is done so you'll have to go to your app store and download this app APK extractor so go to your Play Store and download APK extractor that's a must you must be able to download this application and that's one of the reasons why I was saying to you you need a pretty new smartphone in order to do this I'm using a Galaxy Note 5 so I don't have any problems so as soon as you download this app the next thing that you will do is go to your Play Store and download the apps that you need download Solex download solo and I do and I leave these stuff on my phone because I do fly with my phone my phone has a very bright screen it's not the largest it is a 5 inch I, uh, 4 point something probably display 5 inch display which is not bad too I do enjoy flying with my phone it's just that you know sometimes you do prefer a bigger screen so I've downloaded all these apps already and you should have it too you should have solo on your phone you should have Solex on your phone and once you have these two downloaded from the App Store or whichever one you intend to fly with this one costs money like 20 something bucks so you'll have to pay that in order to have it on your phone this one is free to solo so once you've downloaded those two you've downloaded the APK extractor then you can open the APK extractor right you search for the file that you want to extract you can I think you can search with the search bar not sure oh yeah here we go solo there we go extracting once you double click on it it says extracting so that one is done go back Uh, my next app would be Solex you don't have to download both if you don't want both again when I, I click on this look here it says extracted to path blah 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 All right don't worry too much about that just go home go to your file uh, manager or go to your files and you'll see it in device storage extracted APKs there it is All right so what I do is now you want to highlight both of them or one of them if you're only going to do one hit share put it on your OneDrive um, again I think solo can work with your email you can sh you can share the solo app as as an attachment not in the body of the mail but the Solex app I believe is too large so that might not work so, so I go to my drive I hit save so it says your two files are being saved and they're being uploaded to that cloud I give it a few minutes so the files can be uploaded of course you want to have your phone on Wi-Fi so that the files can be uploaded to the cloud once it's uploaded to the cloud or you've chosen email if you're using solo whatever it is that you decide to do when those files are gone up there that's pretty much it you're done with the phone the apps are already on your phone you don't have to worry about that everything is already set just forget about your phone let me exit out of here and we head back to the tablet alright so see I have the drive here in my tablet I just click on my drive I scroll down as soon as you tap on it you see it's downloading there to my tablet 
I have two Jelly Bean tablets. This does not work on the Jelly Bean tablets. It only works on Android 5.0 so far, and that's Lollipop. So just bear that in mind. Turn you up. Ta da! Welcome to Solo. Get started. Location. And of course, I've been through this before, so I went all the way, I've logged in and all that stuff already. I've actually flown with this. Now, when you extract an APK file, it's not going to pop up here as though you downloaded it from your store. All you have to do is go into your apps, slide over, look for it, and pin it yourself. That's all. That's all you need to do, and you'll always have access to it. There you go, runs smooth, runs fine for me. I haven't had any problems with it. Runs pretty good. That's the solo app, same thing that I did for the solo app. You can do for the Solex app. And I'm pretty sure any other basic application that you won't be allowed to download from your Lollipop um, tablet on your app store guys i hope this video was helpful i hope that you'll use this to fly you'll enjoy flying with it and don't forget every tablet's different test first fly it at least one battery maybe two batteries and keep it within line of sight keep solo within line of sight always um, for the first two batteries I personally recommend until you feel comfortable until you feel safe until you feel reliable enough with these old tablets I'm going out there on Mac and Saturday again I'll be using this tablet pretty much the whole day on two batteries uh, to fly with and I'll give you guys more feedback in the description section make sure you comment make sure you hit thumbs up make sure you hit subscribe and guys, I'm doing this this for you. I'm sharing this information with you. If there's anything else you'd like to know about, please let me know. If I can make videos about it, I'll definitely like to help you. I hope this video was helpful and definitely leave me some positive feedback. Thank you guys. Have a good evening. Have a good day. Have a good night. Whatever time it is.